Brian here today talking about the San Francisco 49ers in this one talking about the NFC West and the 49ers seeing how I would rank the teams by the West from one through four the NFC West is a very tough division it's probably one of the toughest divisions in the NFL you can compete with the AFC North but I love the NFC West even more 49ers Rams Cardinals Seahawks Plausibly, all of these teams could make the playoffs this year with the way it's at with seven teams. So I would not be surprised if that happens, but you never know. I'm excited for this video. I hope you guys are as well. I know I haven't had videos for a while now. I think my last video was last week. I do apologize for that, but hopefully I can get to a normal schedule for the rest of time in a regular season. It's coming really, really soon. I know it's early to talk about in June, but it's happening really soon. So this week I can talk about start, cut, bench, continue that series. Also talk about Super Bowl contentions like previous years why and what is stopping them from making the Super Bowl and winning it all. There you have it right there, you guys. Let's get this video started, but before I do, as always, please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this channel, share this content with fellow Niner faithfuls. Let's get this started. NFC West, 49ers, how would I rank them preseason so far? Okay, NFC West time. It's very difficult to rank them from 1 through 4 because the last place, 4th place, could technically be in 1st place as well. That's how close all these teams are in terms of being a great team and being the top team in in the NFC West. It's very hard to judge them, but you know, you just got to try your best on how you feel based on the roster, the coaching staff, and their outlook for 2021. Ranking them would be a little bit difficult. This is going to be a little bit disorganized, but I think it's going to be ranging from all the way to the top. That's probably going to be the last part of this video. If you're looking at the teams in the NFC West, if I had to put, quote unquote, the worst team in the West, it's probably going to have to be the Arizona Cardinals. Some of you guys might say Seattle, but I have to put Arizona out there because they haven't really done anything for the past year or two under Cliff Kingsbury. I know they've had a lot of great promise. I know they've had a lot of things going for them positively. They made some great moves getting AJ Green. That's going to be a very dangerous move for other teams in the West to look forward to. They also got JJ Watt. If he can come back to even the simplest form of what he was years ago being defensive player of the year multiple times, then yeah, it is a very formidable team. But you're looking at the offseason right now, it's still very questionable in terms of that. And a lot of times Arizona free agents, they don't really work out too much. The only guy that I can see that's really worked out in terms of that is quarterback Kurt Warner. Everybody else, it's pretty much a retirement home for the Cardinals if you're going there for big last free agent money. As much as they're a very big threat to the NFC West, everybody, not just the 49ers, if they can clean up a little bit with Kyler Murray, get a better defense in my opinion, then yes, this is going to be an awesome team. But just for right now, I haven't seen enough from the past and I don't like to use past judgment in order to make future predictions because it's football. But just looking at it from the offseason, it's very questionable in terms of the Cardinals. And Cliff Kingsbury, he better be starting winning now because if he doesn't, if he doesn't even have a playoff appearance at least for the Cardinals this year, I think it's going to be game over for him in terms of being the head coach for the Cardinals. A lot on the line for him, in my opinion, and we'll see what that leads us to, but they can be a very good team. They were very great last year in 2020 early on, and then ever since the game against the Bills, the miracle play, they went downhill. Hopefully, they can have a great season, you know, in terms of not being the 49ers, but being everybody else. We'll see what happens then. So Arizona, fourth place, but barely fourth place. It's very difficult to rank them, but that's where I got to put in my opinion. If I had to rank a third team, I'd probably say maybe the Seattle Seahawks, but it's funny because they always beat us in any way, shape, and form for the past years, years, and years now. Ever since Russell Wilson's been with the Seahawks, I think what, like the record's 14 and 5, 15 and 5 as the starting quarterback for the Seahawks against the 49ers. Very impressive right there. But you got to look at the whole 17, 18 games that we have during the year. Seattle overall, they have some great moments. They always start great early on, but then they start slowing down a little bit later on in the season. And then last year, they got bounced very early on by the Rams a big upset right there it was disappointing having a home game home playoffs for the wild card round and then end up losing to the Rams they're a great team and to be honest with you I could pick them at first place in the West but it's so tough that's just the nature of the NFC West it's just really tough to pick who's really the best team in the West because they all have their great distinguishments on why they're great but Seattle the biggest thing quarterback Russell Wilson everything rides and dies with him and so far even when he does have downtime during the regular season he's still a great quarterback and he's probably one of the best quarterbacks in this whole division right now Matthew Stafford Kyler Murray Jimmy Garoppolo I think he's one of the best 
for this West. But other than that, defense is still questionable. I mean, you do have Bobby Wagner, but other than that, they do bend and break a little bit for defensively. Offensively, they need to give him some offensive line help. Have they done anything this offseason? Not to my knowledge, but they have a lot of great skill position players. I mean, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, that's as great of a receiving core you can get. Running backs, they have a great running back system, just like the 49ers. That can really pretty much carry the team to a division title if they wanted to, but defense is still a big concern, and I think the Rams and the 49ers are just slightly better teams than them. Just look at the way it's constructed, but it is a little bit weird to say that because Seattle has always beaten us for the past couple of years, but you're talking about every single game for the whole regular season, then yeah, that's what I believe in, but head-to-head, not really good for the 49ers. I will give the Seahawks that, but right now, slightly third place Seattle. LA Rams, number two, in my opinion. A lot of people have the Rams as big favorites to win the Super Bowl, but Matthew Stafford is the big question for them. Is he that guy to carry the team to the Super Bowl after Jared Goffless years of him pretty much holding back the team, essentially? I know they've had some problems with the offensive line and receiving core, stuff like that, but the quarterback position was a big question, and they felt like they needed to get a big upgrade, and they looked like they did with Stafford. Stafford can be a winner. He's a clutch player when he can be. He wasn't in a really good situation situation with Detroit. He was losing a lot of years. I think he only made the playoffs once and twice in his whole career. I don't think he's ever won a playoff game either. It's very disappointing in terms of the Lions not really giving him everything that he needs to be successful. Hopefully with the Rams with a much better team overall, a much better defense, that should really take him over the top. I got to see more from Stafford, see if he's going to be the big difference maker on why they can win the Super Bowl. But really, when they give up all those draft picks and they trade to get Stafford, they better win the Super Bowl because that is really what they're saying is that we were just a quarterback away from winning the Super Bowl. And I think this is a two-year contract. If he doesn't live up to that expectation, if he does not win the Super Bowl, then this would be a big bust and Les need better take a lot of big heat for for that in my opinion because he's given up a lot of first round draft picks it's like nothing to him essentially I think he cares more about the veteran players than college players but you know what that can be some great points and other than that but at the same time you got to have some great draft talent and have some salary cap money which they don't really have too much but other than that the Rams they're an excellent team awesome team and you know people would say they're a little overrated I believe they're a little overrated but they're still a great team Aaron Donald is still a big dominant player on the defensive side of the ball they're a tough team although we did beat them twice last year with a beat up 49ers squad but still great team overall and they can dominate this year if Matthew Stafford could live up to those expectations and number one slightly for me people that are not 49ers fans might think I'm biased but I believe the 49ers can be the number one team in the NFC West I mean last year as you all know it was a injury riddled year but well, not the best year to be a 49ers fan because everybody just got hurt left and right and it's already starting already in 2021 with Justin School and Tavarius Moore getting injured with ACL and Achilles injuries respectively but when you look at the team on a healthy day this is a very dominant team and I guess the big question would be the quarterback position but for me injuries is the bigger concern because we have the best team in my opinion on paper from offense to defense top to bottom but the problem is it's the injury issue if they can get through this like they did in 2019 as best as they could then yes they will win the NFC West and probably make it to the Super Bowl I know Tampa Bay is up there in terms of being the top team in the NFC but I still love the 49ers I love Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance but I'm assuming Garoppolo is going to be the man the whole year when he lives up to his big contract because I believe he has a big motivation over his shoulder with Trey Lance being drafted so I think he'll play his best football yet as a 49er and just his whole career in general the running game is tip top shape the receiving core I love me some Ayuk and Samuel I can talk about that all day George Kittle the people's tight end he's one of the best in the NFL the defense I think it's gotten even better Nick Bosa coming back D forward hopefully playing at least on a part-time basis that's very hard to say but Kyle Shanahan is pretty encouraged on his progress so hopefully he can just play something in order to give us a great defensive line Fred Warner Dre Greenlaw all those guys they do a great job as well D'Amico Ryans as the defensive coordinator I think he's going to add a little bit more spiciness to the defense and get a lot more physical than even with Robert Sala as the defensive coordinator it's very early to tell but it looks like based on how Ryans is I guess his mannerisms in terms of leading the defense, it seems he wants to be more physical and that's what they're going to be this year as much as they can. So 49ers, from just look at the roster alone, it's great. And then when you have Kyle Shanahan, when he doesn't have a big ego, he's one of the top offensive minds in the NFL. I just love the 49ers 
to be the big team to win the NFC West. You know, it sounds delusional to say that, but hey, I believe in this team. I believe in this roster. It's going to get really far really soon. That's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the NFC West. Frank it from 4 through 1, 1 through 4, whatever you guys want to do. So please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up hopefully tomorrow on a Wednesday when I can finish my start cut bench series starting with the offensive line or tight ends, whichever one. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.